Michelle Obama enjoys a snorkeling session with Tom Hanks and his wife Rita Wilson in Italy before climbing aboard Steven Spielberg's $250 million superyacht. Michelle Obama enjoyed a star-studded day out on sea off the coast Italy alongside Tom Hanks and a slew of other famous faces. The former first lady, 59, who has spent the last few weeks enjoying a European vacation without her husband Barack, was pictured taking a boat ride with a dazzling array of A-listers including Tom and his wife, Rita Wilson, as well as acclaimed director Steven Spielberg and his spouse, Kate Capshaw. The group was seen exiting Stevens' $250 million superyacht together near Portofino, getting onto a smaller vessel, which took them out for a day of snorkeling. During the boat ride, the stars chatted as they soaked up the Italian sun and took in the stunning views. Rita was seen grabbing Michelle's shoulder at one point as the two giggled over something. Michelle showed off her toned figure or white one-piece bathing suit for the outing. She paired the look with enormous shades and kept her braided hair pulled back in a ponytail. Rita, 66, opted for a navy blue and white patterned cover-up over a dark brown swimsuit. She accessorized with a Louis Vuitton handbag and some sunglasses. Actor Tom, 67, started the journey off with a white t-shirt, black shorts, and a dark gray cap on. Later on, he took off his top, enjoying the second leg of the journey. As for Stephen, he wore a blue polo shirt, white shorts, and a white straw hat, while his wife of 32 years sported a black bathing suit. Many of the stars whipped out their phones during the boat ride to take some snaps of each other and the breathtaking backdrops. At one point, Stephen was seen capturing an image of Tom, who held his arms up in the air. When it came time to jump into the bright blue waters for some swimming and snorkeling, many of them put on a gray swim stop likely to protect them from jellyfish or stinging algae. Michelle was spotted departing from the watercraft from a ladder, with a snorkel and mask resting on her head. Afterwards, they wrapped up in some beige towels and sipped on some sodas as they made their way back to the yacht. Stephen brought his adorable pup for the Endeavor, who was seen basking in the sun from the boat while the group splashed around. They then headed back to Stephen's enormous 357-foot ship, which has two swimming pools, a movie theater, and a helicopter landing pad. Michelle has certainly enjoyed a lavish few weeks, visiting a slew of stunning places across Europe. She was seen in Madrid, Spain, earlier this month, and the Spanish island of Mallorca days before that. Before that, she went to New York City to watch the U.S. Open with her husband, Barack Obama. And in July, the couple, along with their daughters, visited Martha's Vineyard in Massachusetts, where Barack was spotted playing golf and Michelle hit the tennis courts. A few weeks prior to that, photographers caught them grabbing lunch on the stunning Greek island Sifnos with Tom, Rita, Malia, and Sasha. In May, they headed to California to cheer on their youngest daughter, Sasha Obama, walk at her graduation from the University of Southern California. That same month, Michelle and Barack vacationed in Barcelona, Spain, where they hiked to the Montserrat Monastery with Stephen and went to a Bruce Springsteen concert. Tom and Rita have been close with the Obamas for quite some time now, and in 2016, Barack even awarded the actor with the Presidential Medal of Freedom. At the time, he stated in his speech that the Forrest Gump alum had touched him in a very powerful, personal way. Michelle's latest trip comes just weeks after a convicted felon made wild claims about her husband. Earlier this month, con man Larry Sinclair alleged that Barack, 62, scandal issue in Chicago in 1999, and that he witnessed him buying and smoking during an appearance on former Fox host Tucker Carlson's show. Larry, who has a lengthy criminal history, including convictions on forgery, fraud, and larceny charges, and has served prison time in Arizona, Florida, and Colorado, first made the claims in 2008, while Barack was gearing up to run for president. At the time, his accusations were roundly condemned as an attempted political hatchet job. He has never offered any proof of his claims against the former president. Larry's claims were given a new lease of life last month, however, after the New York Post released a letter written by Barack in 1982, when he was 21 years old, to his girlfriend Alex McNear. In it, he wrote that he scandal issue, but in the imagination, according to the publication. 
Back in November, the 59-year-old mother of two opened up about how she keeps her lean physique, explaining that her outlook on exercising changed after she went through menopause. Michelle Obama said she couldn't stand Barack for a decade of their 30-year marriage. Here's a timeline of their relationship. 1989, Michelle was assigned as Barack's mentor at their law firm, and he said he was immediately smitten. Barack Obama, then 28, and Michelle Robinson, then 25, met at the Chicago office of the law firm Sidley Austin LLP, where Robinson was assigned to be his mentor. Because I went to Harvard and he went to Harvard, and the firm thought, oh, we'll look these two people up, Michelle told ABC News in 2008. In his 2020 memoir, A Promised Land, Barack Obama wrote he was smitten almost from the second I saw her. 1989, they had their first date, which included lunch, a walk in the park, and a movie. Though she was his mentor, that didn't stop the future president from asking Robinson on a date. She said she was not so keen at the time. Barack, about a month in, asked me out, and I thought no way. This is completely tacky, she told ABC News in the 2008 interview. But eventually she relented, and the pair went on a date. They started by having lunch at the Art Institute of Chicago, taking a stroll, then ending up going to see the Spike Lee film Do the Right Thing. He showed all the sides. He was hip, cutting edge, cultural, sensitive. The fountain, nice touch. The walk, patient, Michelle told The Telegraph in 2012. Take tips, gentlemen, Barack added, smiling. The date was eventually immortalized in the 2016 film Southside with You. 1991, they got engaged in a simple and sweet way. The pair got engaged at Gordon's restaurant in Chicago. The dinner was supposed to celebrate Barack passing his bar exam, they told ABC News in 2008. And then the waiter came over with a dessert and a tray. And there was the ring, Michelle said. And I was completely shocked. She told ABC News that he simply got down on one knee and asked. Michelle, of course, said yes. 1992, they got married at Trinity United Church of Christ in Chicago. The couple married on October 3rd, 1992. Michelle later noted that her husband's vows were a glimpse at what was to come. Barack didn't pledge riches, only a life that would be interesting. On that promise he delivered, she recalled, according to the Obama Foundation website. After the ceremony, the reception was held at the South Shore Cultural Center and they honeymooned along the California coast. 1998, they had their first child, Malia and Obama. Malia was born on July 4th, 1998. 2001, their second child, Natasha Obama, was born. Natasha, known as Sasha, was born on July 10th, 2001. Barack said in a 2013 interview that he thinks that he and Michelle's love has been a great example to their daughters. The great thing about the girls is they've got a wonderful role model in their mom, Obama told Essence. They've seen how Michelle and I interact, not only the love, but also the respect that I show to their mom. So I think they have pretty high expectations about how relationships should be, and that gives me some confidence about the future. I joke about this stuff sometimes, but the truth is they are smart, steady young women. 2004, Barack was elected to U.S. Senate, beginning their life in the spotlight. Though he was a state senator for several years, Barack became the U.S. Senator for Illinois in 2004, catapulting the family into the national spotlight. Michelle was a notable figure on his campaign, but she had her own impressive role as Vice President for Community and External Affairs at the University of Chicago Hospitals. 2008, Barack was elected President of the United States, making Michelle the U.S. First Lady. Though he had a notable term, he once joked that being Michelle's husband was what people loved most about him. If you were going to list the 100 most popular things that I have done as president, being married to Michelle Obama is number one, Barack said during a State of the Union address in 2010. 2012, Barack won re-election, and Michelle, whom the president called my rock, became an advocate for healthy eating. Barack won a re-election bid against Mitt Romney in the 2012 presidential election. 
By then, the couple was a household name, with Michelle being known for her healthy eating initiatives. President Obama noted that he couldn't have done nearly as much in his time in office without the support and guidance of Michelle. Obviously, I couldn't have done anything that I've done without Michelle. Not only has she been a great first lady, she is just my rock, he told Oprah Winfrey in 2011. I count on her in so many ways every single day. 2017, the Obamas departed the White House after President Donald Trump was sworn in on January 20th. Both Barack and Michelle made clear that although they enjoyed their time in the White House, they were ready for a bit of normalcy after eight years.